Mikey Hawks for tonight's interesting looking challenge match against Eastbourne. Now, of course, the Eastbourne Eagles not running this year, having failed in their bid to get into Division One of the Sunbright League. But nevertheless, Gareth Rogers, the promoter there for the last two seasons, has put together the side that's going to take on the Hawks tonight. Now, the Hawks looking back to get back onto the winning trail following their defeat at Peterborough on Bank Holiday Monday. I'm sure we're in for some fast and furious action, and that action comes to you courtesy of Race Video. Well, Gareth, welcome to Walton Road uh, for tonight's challenge match against the Eagles, and such a pity that the Eagles aren't in regular competition this year. Well, very much so, and very frustrating, but of course we could have been but for one vote. And uh, you're not prepared to say whose vote that was? I was at one point, but uh, I had my outburst, I've had my warning, and as I said in the Milton Kings programme on Sunday, the rest is history now, and we're looking, obviously, to come back as quickly as we can, um, either by whatever happens within the sport, or I feel now, it's, and particularly from my Milton Kings experience, brief though it is, it's got to be up to the supporters to now rally round, not take Speedway for granted. They've seen it close at Eastbourne, work hard and support me to get my financial act together and get back into, all well, the second division. So there is long-term hope for the future of Speedway at Eastbourne? I think so, because the reaction certainly I've had, uh, initially in January, people thought it was an act of brinkmanship, which obviously it wasn't. Didn't take it as seriously as, in fact, it was. But now are saying how much they're missing it already. Well, give them a season. And when I turn to them and say, look, I carried the Speedway for three years, without the sort of wealth that Bob Dugard had, and finally, obviously, the burdens were too great. You can have Speedway back. Bob won't support Second Division Speedway financially, but he'll morally support it. But I've got to get my financial act together to see Eastbourne back, obviously, in action. Sheffield have managed it, so Eastbourne hopefully will. If it doesn't take a year, it may take two. OK, well, let's hope that we see the Eagles back in action before not too long, but we're going to see them in action tonight. And uh, are you confident of victory? I think it's going to be very interesting because at least three of uh, the Eastbourne select tonight haven't ridden at all this season, or have hardly ridden. Justin Walker hasn't ridden at all, Dean Standing hasn't ridden at all, John Sermon's had one match, and Brian Nixon's had one match. So they're a little bit rusty, but I think Hackney have got their problems too, so it could equal out. I think it'll be a lot tighter than the prediction which is in the programme, which says we only scrape about 37 points. I think we'll do a bit better than that. OK, Gareth, thanks for talking to us, and let's look forward to an interesting match. <laughs> Let's introduce you to tonight's teams and we'll start with our visitors, the Eastbourne Eagles, riding at number one, he's at Milton Keynes this year, former world number two, Gordon Kennett. Partner in Gordon at number two, another rider from the Milton Keynes, Graham Knights, it's John Cooper. And at number three, the third member of the side who made the short journey up the M1 to Milton Keynes, that's Paul Wood. Riding at number four, he was an Ipswich witch last year, but this year he's in Division Two with Stoke, that's Dean Standing. At number five, well, uh, many tracks were chasing this youngster, but he signed for the Newcastle Federation Diamonds, it's Brian Nixon. Moving now to the reserve berth, two lads who get to get fixed up with tracks in 1991. Riding at number six, it's Justin Walker, and at number seven, John Thurman. And now on to the Hackney Hawks, riding at number one, he's made a scintillating start to the season, Swedish international Tony Olsen. Partnering Tony at number two, complete with his resplendent green leathers, Michael Warren. Three, the uh, second international in the side, this time from Czechoslovakia, it's Pavel Karnas. And thankfully his work permit has come through today, Australian Tim Hunter. And at number five, it is the uh, skipper, that's Paul Whittaker. Something of a surprise, unfortunately, the work permit for Australian Dave Hamnett has not been received, and therefore he cannot ride. So coming in, making his senior debut from New Zealand, it's Simon Phillips. And last, but by no means least, he scored a splendid nine points against Exeter. That's Roland Pollard. Well, here we go with heat number one, and Eastbourne have won the toss and will be taking gates one and three. Across the gate, riding in white, it's Gordon Kennett. It's Tony Olsen in red, John Cooper in blue, and Michael Warren in blue. And straight from the start, it's Tony Olsen who leads ahead of Gordon Kennett. Michael Warren swooping around the outside to 
back up his teammate and Hackney have a 5-1 going and Gordon Kennett slid off on the third bend the race stopped immediately by referee John Homer and a good lay down there by John Cooper and certainly I can see that the white exclusion light is on so that'll be a rerun without Gordon Kennett just to be the prime cause of the stoppage with the restart of heat number one just the lone eagle in there John Cooper and from the tapes once again it's Tony Olsen who makes a superb start Michael Warren coming round the outside to slot into the uh, second place and barring accidents it looks like a Hackney 5-1 all the way uh, certainly Tony Olsen has made an immaculate start to the season and Michael Warren uh, beginning to get back into the stride of things and they're certainly pulling away now from John Cooper and as I say barring accidents this looks like a 5-1. So just over a lap and a half to go and Olsen pulling out a very big lead ahead of his teammate and John Cooper struggling at the back. Uh, no chance whatsoever of catching the Hackney pairing. And this is the best possible start to the meeting for the Hawks. A big 5-1 and uh, that will boost their confidence for the heats to come so coming up to the line now it's tony olsen who takes the checkered flag ahead of michael warren and coming home for the point it's john cooper so heat two coming up and uh, making his senior debut for the hawks uh, on the inside that's young simon phillips justin walker in white off the gate two roland pollard and john sermon and from the tape it's Justin Walker and Simon Phillips holding a tight inside line there. And has he got the drop? Well, now shoulder to shoulder going down the back straight. And uh, Phillips locking up a little bit there. And it's Justin Walker who's come uh, swooping around the outside to take the lead. But a good ride here from Phillips holding second place. Uh, it's John Sermon in the third and surprisingly Roland Pollard at the back. But uh, coming round to complete the end of the second lap. Justin Walker has pulled out a healthy lead over Simon Phillips and John Sermon beginning to mount a challenge now for that second place. But he's just got over a lap and a half to do it. Simon Phillips riding well. Uh, those of you who have seen him in the second half will know that he's spectacular, but he's settled down this year. But Sermon is uh, gaining visibly as we go into the last lap and going down the back straight. He uh, dives underneath Phillips. Phillips comes down. Sermon's down and Roland Pollard is down now. Justin Walker takes the checkered flag and we'll have to wait to see what the official result is uh, from tonight's meeting referee, John Homer. Well, tough luck there on young Simon Phillips in heat number two, falling as John Sermon came underneath him on the last bend. But the uh, referee has awarded a 5-1 to Eastbourne and thus the scores are level going into heat number three. Now, heat number three sees the first outing of the season for Dean Standing. Dean, of course, who's joined Stoke, having been at Ipswich uh, last year. And his partner for the Eagles, uh, riding off at gate number one in white, is Brian Nixon, who this year has signed for Newcastle. And up against them, for the Hawks in blue, it's Australian Tim Hunter. And on the white outside in red, the skipper, Paul Whitaker. from the tapes it's Whitaker who makes a superstar from the outside ahead of standing with Nixon holding third and Hunter challenging strongly um, but if it stays like this the scores will still be locked together uh, but uh, certainly Hunter making a spirited effort uh, at the back to try and get up on Nixon his uh, fellow countryman but uh, Nixon has now pulled away it certainly appears that Paul Whitaker is safe uh, for a win out in front he's something like 30 yards ahead now of standing but uh, the Eagles packing in for the second and third places so just one lap to go and uh, Paul Whitaker extending his lead with every second and he's something like 30 or 40 yards clear and in absolutely no danger in this heat whatsoever barring a mechanical favor, failure, but over he comes for his first win of the evening 
in second place in yellow it's Dean Standing and third in white his partner Brian Nixon so the point shared three all and progressively after three heats it's Hackney nine Eastbourne nine coming up and the first outings of the evening for the respective number threes for Hackney in red that's the Czechoslovakian international Pavel Karnas and for the Eagles in white it's Paul Woods and they line up together in gates two and three and on the inside it's uh, John Sermon who came through from the back for a second place in heat number two and on the uh, wide outside uh, pretty good race for him first time out young Simon Phillips and let's hope that this time he stays on his bike but uh, here we go with heat number four and uh, from the start it's Karnas who uh, makes the lead ahead of Woods Woods trying the outside line and now switches to the inside but no room for him there as Karnas chops across but he's gone wide on the fourth bend and Woods comes through Karnas switches again to the inside but uh, certainly Paul Woods with the benefit of a couple of meetings under his belt for Milton Keynes looking pretty sharp and he's now uh, drawing away from Karnas and John Sermon is holding uh, third place for the Eagles so it looks as if the Eagles are set to take the lead for the first time this evening and certainly now Woods drawing right away from Karnas uh, something like a 10-15 point lead Karnas having trouble coming out of the fourth bend locking up um, but he looks fairly secure for the second place but nobody is going to catch Paul Woods as he comes round the uh, final bend and on the uh, run into the checkered flag in first place for the Eagles it's Paul Woods second for the Hawks Pavel Karnas and in third place once again for the Eagles it's John Sermon so a 4-2 there to the Eagles that puts them into the lead for the first time this evening at 13 points to 11 here we go with uh, heat number five and certainly Gordon Kennett will be hoping for better luck in this one but he faces tough opposition from Hackney skipper Paul Whitaker a winner first time out and they line up together in uh, gates three and four Whitaker in three Kennett and four they're the two to watch in this one as the uh, tapes rise and once again it's Whitaker who makes a flying start and uh, Tim Hunter something of a surprise is out in second place there so a uh, surprise here as Hunter makes the gate and is holding a comfortable second place ahead of former world number two Golden Kennett and certainly if Hunter can hold on to this this will boost his confidence no end and uh, promoter Derek Howes certainly has confidence in this young Australian coming through He's come in on a six-point assessed average, which is very difficult to live up to in your first year over here in British Speedway. But he's doing pretty well here in the heat number five, holding second place behind Paul Whitaker. But Gordon Kennett is making a late charge. He is gaining on Hunter. And as we go into the last lap, can Hunter hold on? He's gone round the first bend, and he's uh, something like five yards clear of Kennett and it looks as if he's going to hold on and certainly that's a very fine ride indeed for Hunter backing up his skipper Paul Whitaker for a Hackney 5-1 to regain the lead for the Hawks at 16 points to 14. Well heat number six coming up and the Hackney pairing of Tony Olsen and Michael Warren collected a 5-1 in their opening outing and we'll be looking to repeat that here but they face a tough uh, task against Paul Woods the uh, number three for Eastbourne tonight he also won his opening heat so something got to give in heat number six and from the tapes it's Olsen who uh, jets away ahead of Woods and Warren holding third place ahead of Justin Walker so uh, Olsen moving clear of Paul Woods coming around to complete the uh, first lap uh, most riders seeming to have a little bit of problem on that pit spin drifting out wide on the exit uh, but nevertheless Tony Olsen is sailing off into the distance and looks set for his second win of the evening and the big question is can Michael Warren catch Paul Woods for second place well coming around the first bend there it appeared that uh, Olsen's bike uh, may have misfired but he certainly doesn't seem to be uh, losing speed at the moment but certainly we heard a misfire as he came past us there but going into the last lap